Hello friends, so today's video is going to be a book haul. Before I jump into it, a big thank you to Book of the Month for working with me on today's video. I know a lot of people know about this subscription service. The way it works is every single month you have a selection of different books from different genres that you can choose from and you can also add on additional books from previous months. But now they have a new feature where you can also get audiobooks for the selections that they have, which is definitely something I'm very interested in. I have gotten so into immersion reading, which is where you read the physical copy while listening to the audiobook. I used to think that sounded really weird, but I absolutely love doing that. And so I like that now I have that option for my book of the month books. Book of the month's books are also always brand new and they are hardbacks and they often include some of the most popular and talked about books of the year. For example, last year they had Babel as one of their picks and I'll get into the picks that they have for this particular month. First, we have a contemporary fiction called Someone Else's Shoes. An accidental gym bag swap jolts two women whose lives are on the rocks into realizing it's time to seize their fates. After that, we have the historical fiction River Sing Me Home. A mother's love knows no bounds in this gripping story of a formerly enslaved woman's search for her stolen children. Then we have a romance called Georgie All Along, a love letter to anyone who struggled to find their way. This is a swoon-worthy reminder to always bet on yourself. Then we have a thriller called The Writing Retreat. Pro tip, read the fine print before a writer's retreat, lest you end up stuck with a kooky horror writer and your ex-BFF. Then we have a contemporary fiction called Mame. Coming of age is hard work, but this heartwarming story of self-discovery has plenty of laughs and wisdom to spare too. If you're interested in checking Book of the Month out, I'll have them linked down below, but jumping now into the rest of the book haul. First, I wanna start with the physical copy of Tress of the Emerald Sea, but I know some of you, you don't wanna see anything about it until you've gotten your own copy. So I'm gonna have a timestamp if you wanna skip ahead, but for those of you that want to see what it looks like, here it is, it is absolutely beautiful. It is such a stunning book. It reminds me of the Barnes & Noble editions that they have, the special editions that they come out with. It is so beautiful. It's illustrated. And if you want to see a flip through, a mini flip through of it, I have one on my Instagram. So I'll have that linked if you would like to see that. But truly, this is even better than I was expecting. I mean, I knew that we were going to get a special edition version of it. Also, the detail of this here, but I knew we were going to get a special edition and I knew it was going to be a very nice edition of a book, but I wasn't expecting it to be quite this nice. It's also very heavy and the way that it's done, I had a hint of what I would be getting because the ebook has the colors that change as you progress through the book. Each chapter, the plant, I will say, around the number gets bigger and then as we switch into the red, then it's no longer really a plant, but it looks different. And then you get into the black and it looks different. And if you've read the book, you know what all of that symbolizes. And the way it's done in the physical copy looks absolutely fantastic. This was such a delightful, fun read. I'm so excited to have the physical copy. It's so beautiful. And now I'm actually a tiny bit sad because I'm like, I wish all of my Cosmere books looked like this, right? Don't you want a whole Cosmere collection of books that look like this? They're just, it's... It's so pretty. The next book also features a lot of green and is also absolutely gorgeous, and that would be The Goblin Emperor. This is specifically the Broken Binding Edition. If you've never heard of them, they are a slightly newer retailer and they make incredible special editions, exclusive editions, signed editions, and then they also are a retailer, so you can just buy books from them oftentimes. But they are knocking it out of the park. Edition after edition that they have released has been stunning. So already this cover I think is fantastic and this was one of my favorite books from last year so I'm so excited that I have this edition. The details on the edges are fantastic. So this is a political fantasy and the world itself has a hint of steampunk so they have things like airships and so I just feel like the design on the pages somewhat looking like gears to some degree is a great touch and then when you open it up the naked hardback has that design. I know so many of us love when the naked hardback has something special going on. There's also a beautiful map on the inside and I am just 
continuously floored and astounded by the fantastic quality that the Broken Binding has had for their editions. And again, I'm so excited because I love this book so much and this edition is so, so beautiful. Next up, we actually have a, another special edition. It was a Christmas present from my husband and that would be the Illumicrate edition of A Darker Shade of Magic. So I have this video series I do where I compare a lot of different editions of a book or series. I've done this for the Shades of Magic and I've also done it for Red Rising and Spinning Silver. I'll have those videos linked if you're interested in seeing those, but they take a lot of time. They take a lot of effort to do because I have to find retailers that I can get the books from because sometimes it's very difficult to get certain editions and I have to try to scour the internet to find certain editions because some of them are really hard to find and then I have to wait for them to ship. Anyway, it's a ton of work and I was so sad because when I did the Shades of Magic one, the way that Illumicrate released these is they sold the first one by itself and then later sold books two and three. So I had books two and three, but I could not find this first one anywhere. And if I did find it, it was outrageous. And I was like, oh, I just can't justify spending that because it already costs so much to do those videos. And it's not like those videos bring in a lot of money. I definitely lose money <laughs> making those videos, but I was kind of sad because I, I just, I really did want to have the complete Illumicrate set because I do like the series. I like these editions. I think they're really cool. I like that they're printed right on the hardback. And so my husband and I, when we were making our Christmas lists, because that's what we do, <laughs> we make a list of books that we're interested in and then we swap lists. I had this one on there as just a, if you happen to see a copy, if you happen to find a copy, but I did not expect whatsoever that he actually would and that if he did find it, that he would get it. Also look at how cool the inside is. But he did, he found it and he got it for me and it was very exciting. So now I have the complete Illumicrate Shades of Magic set. Speaking of complete sets, the next group of books would be the Poison Study series. I know these are out of order right now, but I've heard so many good things about this series. For a lot of people on booktube, it's one of their favorites. It's kind of a, a hidden favorite in that because it's not brand new, it's not talked about as often, but it's not an old favorite and a staple of fantasy where people are going to be talking about it all the time. And so a lot of people, when you ask them, like, what's one of your favorite series, it can be kind of surprising to hear about the Poison Study. But I've heard so many people sing this series praises, and so I've always been interested in it. But the additions, this set is kind of hard to find. Maybe you'll find one here and there, or at least I will at my local bookstores because that's where I usually get my books. But they're really hard to come by. It's hard to find the specific covers I like because there are certain covers that I'm like, well, those are pretty cool, but then they, I don't think, finish the series with those covers. And there's other covers that are, in my opinion, kind of hideous. And so I'm like, uh, well, maybe someday I'll find those. And the app Pango, which I'm not working with them for this video. I have worked with them in the past though, but I really like this app. The way it works is that you can sell books and buy books on the app. And it's basically like a used bookstore where you put the book up for sale. If somebody's interested in it, they buy it. And the the app will actually take care of the shipping label for you. You just print it out, put it on the package, and then send it on its way. The money that you make can either just go to your bank account or you can keep it in the app as Pango Bucks. And then it's kind of like having store credit. You can then use that to buy other things you find. And so that's what I did for this whole set is I used some of my Pango bucks to get it because I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the whole series in, in the covers that I actually like. So I hope I like this series. I try typically to not buy an entire series or multiple books in a series if I haven't read the first one and enjoyed the first one, but I made an exception for this series. One, because I do really think that I'm going to like it. Two, because it's just hard in general to come across these. And three, because... I didn't, it was like using store credit. I didn't actually have to spend money on these. After that, we have some Mercedes Lackey. So I did actually get these from my local bookstore Bookman's. They are really great about having old editions, uh, old fantasy books. And my goodness, are some of these covers like <laughs> quintessential cheesy classic fantasy, but I kind of love them. And I have been really wanting to read more of Valdemar. I read the entire Arrows trilogy in January. I did like the first book the most of that trilogy, but I still am interested in the world and I liked the writing enough that I want to continue on and I want to get as much Valdemar as I can. So I was kind of looking for books. I know that 
there's recommended reading orders, so these aren't necessarily the ones that I'm going to pick up next, but they're ones that I eventually want to read within within this world. And so when I saw them, I'm like, okay, they're in good condition. I bet they're not the easiest to find. And you especially aren't really going to probably find them at newer retailers, retailers that sell newer books. So I hope I continue to like Voldemort. And I, I just, I'm so excited because isn't it just the best when there's an author that you pick up and you like it and you're like, they have so many more books. Next up, we have a, another used book from a different store called Changing Hands. And that would be Fire. So I've heard the Graceling series is absolutely fantastic, similar to Poison Study. It's a slightly older young adult series that a lot of people really, really like and have said really amazing things about. I'm a fan of both young adult and adult, but regardless, I have heard that for people that maybe prefer adult fantasy and only like to kind of dip their toes in young adult, that this is one that people often recommend, the series. So I have Graceling and I have Blue or Bitter Blue, I think is what the other one's called. And so I didn't have Fire. I have seen the reprints and I will say I really like the reprints quite a bit, but I had the hardcover of this, uh, of Graceling and Bitter Blue. So I was, when I saw this one, I'm like, okay, well, if I really like them, maybe I can get the new editions too. But for now, I'm happy to have these. This edition for this hardback was $6.95 and I think I had store credit. So I don't think I even... Uh, I don't even think I spent that. Next up, this is very random, but it is a French edition of An Enchantment of Ravens. So I had the French edition of Sorcery of Thorns. And when I saw this edition that was going to kind of match it in art style, I just think it's really beautiful. And I really like Margaret Rogerson. I like her writing and I like, I've liked everything by her I've read so far. I don't think I'll get the French edition of Vespertine just because it looks basically exactly like the US edition, but I liked that these two had different covers and it's cool because the original cover is actually on the inside of the book. And then this is what the book looks like without its sleeve, which I think is really beautiful. And again, similar to what I said about the Goblin Emperor, who doesn't like when the naked hardback has something fun on it. Completely switching gears, the next book is actually a nonfiction book called Half American. I saw Ashley from the Bookish Realm, who I'll have her link. She's fantastic. She has a booktube channel and then she has another channel where she talks about comics and manga and things like that. And she does really fantastic book discussions as well. But anyway, on her Instagram stories, I saw her mention this and she said it was fantastic. It is about soldiers, black soldiers during World War II how they had that experience and what their experiences were like when they returned to America and the promises that were made, how veterans were supposed to be treated, the things that they were supposed to be given and how, what actually ended up happening. That's the kind of thing that I feel it's important to know about. Last for today, we have a couple of presents that my friend Jashana got me for Christmas. One of them, because she knows I love dogs and wolves and animals in general, she got me this book and it's called A Wolf Called Romeo. And I think it's about a wolf and a dog that become friends. But anyway, besides that, that was kind of like her silly gift and then her more serious gift. She got me, it says, The Legend of Final Fantasy X Creation Universe and Decryption how cool is this and it comes with a ribbon so it's like extra fancy and it's printed right on the hardback and i was so excited when i got this but then i also was like wow i have loved the same story so i, I love it so much and i have since i was a kid that i was like i don't know if i've progressed <laughs> like i just feel like developmentally i've stayed where i was as a child i just love i think it's called nostalgia is what i'm trying to say but i was just so excited and like look how cool on the edges they have these like pretty designs i can't wait to read this i think it's going to be so interesting if you're like me and you're obsessed with final fantasy 10 I am curious, have you read this? And if so, what did you think of it? That's it for some books that I have gotten recently. A big thank you again to Book of the Month for working with me on today's video. Let me know your thoughts on any of the books I mentioned. If you are interested in Book of the Month, I'll have them linked. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.